Hello and welcome to this special presentation titled How to Pick the Best Money-Making Trading Systems. My name is Steve Chappell, the Director of Trading System Development here at VectorVest. So this should be right up my alley, if, if you will. Uh, listen, I know one of the most challenging things for even the savviest of investors is to decide on a complete systematic way to trade the stock market. And when I say complete, we're talking about things like stock selection, stop loss, market direction, diversification or no diversification, you know, deployment of capital, redeployment of capital. There's all kinds of different considerations contained within a trading system. They need to be complete in order to be both proven and reliable, right? So it can be a challenge. And if we're not careful, we can end up feeling a little bit like this, you know, just overloaded with choices. Look, in Unisearch, there's 300 searches. You know, I get it. Where there's stock viewer, watch lists, gadgets, you know, all different places in the program that produce tremendous stocks. I mean, they all have a lot of value. I don't think anybody ever denies that. The challenge becomes landing on and finalizing the 10 stocks or 20 stocks that you want to pick, you know, and that's just where it starts. And then we have to make all those other decisions on the back side of that, right? And so we can end up spending a lot of time trying to come up with our own solutions. And I'm not saying that that's not a bad journey to take from time to time to work on that, but I got good news for you here coming pretty soon because I don't want you to feel this way anymore. I don't want you to be frustrated ultimately, not only with your results, but with the challenge of putting something like that together. You know, I want to try to change all that and change it for good and hopefully do it right now. And so I'm going to show you the fastest, easiest way to eliminate frustration and pick a proven money-making trading system in VectorVest. And we are going to do it starting now by unveiling what I feel is a part of the product that needs more usage. You know, we even put an entire course together on this trading system viewer called Trading on Autopilot that's up on VectorVest University. And that really gets all the way down into the nuts and bolts and even helping you decide on how to create systems for yourself. You know, but I'm going to show you all you need to know today to get rolling, you know, so that's good news. Uh, listen, Trading System Viewer, you know, right here at the top, you got a trading system that in the last year was up 675%. You know, with very little drawdown, as you'll see here in a few moments. And so one of the keys, of course, is going to be being real with yourself in terms of who you are as an individual, because that sounds great on the surface, you know, but you got to be ready for that. And so if your main priority in the stock market is preservation of capital, you know, that might actually not be a good fit because there's going to be times where a system like this is going to drive you a little nuts. And so there's two things that you can do. You can pick a system that's more apt to, to fit you as an individual and thereby easier for you to actually accomplish the results in the future, you know, or you could take off a small slice of capital and have a couple of different things going in the stock market, you know, and so don't forget about that. Uh, and it, this is where, only where it begins. So I want to transition this over into the tool. Let me walk you through it. Let me show you some of the best systems by investment temperament and show you how easy it is to get rolling. Okay. So here we are at the homepage for VectorVest. Finding the trading system viewer is rather simple. And you're going to see a little bit later, it's even simpler now than ever before. Okay. But let's walk before we run. So I'm going to go right up here to the top and I'm going to go to viewers. And when I get there, I'm already on Trading System Viewer. But there is a directory here on the left, and you could simply click on Trading System Viewer there. Or also, you're typically greeted by this page. You might even have the three boxes straight across, depending on your resolution. We shoot at a, you know, a lower resolution just to make the images bigger for you to see on your screens. Uh, but there's a Trading System 
selection here right in the initial viewer's screen. So whether you click it here or up on the left, it's going to take you to the same place. Now when you get there, next thing we need to know is what is all this stuff and how do I use it, right? All right, so the first thing that you're going to be greeted with, or the first column of information at least, is name. Okay. Now there's going to be a lot of funny names in here for people that haven't been around VectorVest, you know, very long. Uh, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge for some. Let's ignore the name for a moment because ultimately it's just giving our more longer term subscribers who have a lot of knowledge on scans and stops and things, some details right out of the gate. It is helpful to some. Okay. But for those that aren't as versed in VectorVest, you know, you're really going to start making some ground when you get to the category column. So if I click on category, it'll then display systems that are suitable for you and your investment temperament. So if you know down deep in your bones that you're an aggressive investor, you know, and you're willing to accept a little bit of risk to get very high reward, you know, these are going to be the systems for you. And as we scroll down, it's going to run the gamut all the way to conservative. And in between, you're going to have prudent and also speculative, actually, on the complete opposite end of the spectrum from conservative, right? Where you just kind of throw caution to the wind. But with conservative, you know, capital preservation is your main concern. And you're going to have stock selection and money management tactics, including timing and everything, you know, that are best selections based upon performance that we've measured uh, that puts you in a complete system where not only are you going to have capital preservation, you're going to see some price appreciation typically. And when markets are real hot like this past year, sometimes it might exceed expectations on that front. But you're also going to get typically very good and reliable dividend income in addition. And that's not even depicted in the performance results. Okay, but you can start sorting out the systems in this way. Now, where many people are going to start, and rightly so, a lot like analyzing a mutual fund, you can analyze performance metrics over time. So over the last one month, three months, or calendar year. Uh, a lot of folks are going to start here on the calendar year. When we get up to the top of the list here again, that's where we find our angel's wings. Okay. Uh, from there, they're going to present a nice little uh, one-year depiction, a nice little spark chart of the equity curve. And boy, isn't that interesting to see 675% with very little drawdown along the way. And we're on about 7% down over the last month. And you can see, you know, there's not a lot of downside here, hasn't been for the last year. If we look at the year-to-date performance, that might just astonish some here we have a system that's up 98.6% this year, even being down seven the last month. You know, uh, that's 538 annualized with just a 12.9 max drawdown. Now, that's for the last year, but the maximum drawdown is the highest peak in the equity curve to the lowest valley, the high to the low percentage for the last year. Okay, so. Think of that in terms of almost max pain along the way. And that is a staggering number based on, I'm going to tell you, you know, you will not find very many systems, if any others at all, anywhere that can produce those kinds of performance numbers on percentage gain with that minimal of a drawdown. And so this is one not to ignore uh, if you're willing to assume that risk. And there's ways to cope with that. Again, you know, even if we're on the conservative side, we could consider a relatively small denomination of capital to work with and try to ramp up our, you know, performance a little bit. Okay. Now, typically your best bet, you know, is just going to be staying true to yourself, you know, and there are folks where this is, you know, just fine. There are others that are going to want to make sure that no matter what stocks they're buying, when and you know, what stops they're deploying and why that everything suits them as an individual. And, and to be honest, that's really a good place to start. So I'm going to come back over here. And as we click on the one year performance, we can start to 
look at things based upon who we are. So if we're a speculator, you know, if uh, if we feel like we're a Reggie Jackson, we're willing to strike out every once in a while in order to hit a few bombs, you know, in order to hit a you know, Mr. November, right? In order to hit those home runs, you know, this is the right playground to be in. However, if we want to at least mitigate some of the risk, we can come down to the next choice, you know, which would be aggressive. It uses the same market timing. It's got a little bit more drawdown here as of late, but you're not swinging for the fences as much. And now that we're well up off of the bottom, you know, typically aggressive type uh, trading systems are now going to begin to start to catch up to some of those speculative ones, you know, because the market's beginning to normalize a little bit more now, right? So we can think of things in those terms and also have all the comfort in knowing, hey, over the last three months, it's done pretty well, really strong over the one year. And as we slide across, you know, we're not surprised to see the 9% over the last month because what has the market really done over the last month? Not much, right? And um, in relation to what has been kind of maximum pain throughout the year, you know, we've already eaten into that a little bit. So if we start out, you know, here on the next up signal with green light, you know, we'll probably start to get back into that upward movement again, right? All right, so good. Now, some of you are going to want to dig in. You know, we can see in the name description that this is dealing with Russell stocks. You know, and that's the aggressive aspect, right? Uh, but we can dig further. We can come up here to the top and we can click something like trading system details. Now, when we do that, it's going to open up a web page, web browser. Okay. And when we get there, we can see a little bit better look at the equity performance uh, for the entire portfolio. And you can see this thing really kicked off on the back of COVID. Okay. And so here again, as the market is beginning to normalize, I'm not sure that I would expect the same 675% for the next year, but it's still probably going to do a lot better than you might think. All right. So we can start to look and absorb that information. We can look at one month, three months, six months, year to date, you know, slice and dice the data any way you like. We see a lot of green there, except for the last month, you know. Right now, this doesn't have any stocks, so it can't slide any further potentially than that 9% because we don't have any exposure to the market and we're not going to start buying stocks till the next green light. And when is the best buying opportunity to buy stocks after a market pullback? You know, on the first green light that, you know, there's always a first green light and a last green light of every upturn, right? And so you're going to be getting off and running at least at what should be the most opportune time. Uh, so, tremendous uh, system here. If we come to the top, we can click on trading system rules and dig even deeper. This is only going to really matter to really the engineers and, you know, the people that really want to get into the nuts and bolts. But it's going to tell you what you're going to be doing when you have an up mode by your timing model. We're going to find beaten up Russell stocks. We're going to manage them with a 50% gain, a 10% loss. Okay. It's going to tell you that we are holding 10 positions and maintaining them throughout the course of any campaign. It goes through all the different settings here. I don't want to belabor each one, okay? Uh, but all of the details will be here for you. And we can see in a down, you know, we take no action, okay? So we just let our stops knock us out. And with the um, neutral, same deal, no action, okay? So you're just letting... Your stops rule the roost all the time. All right, so let me go ahead and close out of this. And you can do that for each one. This would be a good choice for more of an aggressive uh, type of investor in mind. As we go down, what's the first prudent one that we come across, right? And this is one I'm happy to report that many of our students from the autopilot courses that we've been teaching throughout the year have chosen and done. I got emails all year long last year. I mean, just happy as could be, you know, and it's the top prudent choice. That's why they picked it. Okay. No more scientific than what I'm showing you right now, because this is as far as you need to go. Uh, great one year performance. I think anybody would have taken that. Many of our students, we started teaching the course in April, you know, so they got a good chunk of that, real good chunk of that. 
and follow the money. Another prudent system is just kind of knocking on its door right behind it. But we knew when we chose earlier in the year that this had a little less equity curve volatility to it. And you can see even on a current basis, that's still continued to be the case, right? If we come over here, slide across, you still have very reasonable drawdown, right? Some of the comfort here is we've already eaten into a good chunk of what has at least been max pain over the last year, you know, so we might get off to a rather good start here again. So this uses the DEW, which is bearish right now. So let's go into the plan, right? And we get all the same information. We see that this is also in cash. So we're waiting for the DEW up call to go long, right? And then we can click the rules if we want to dig a little bit deeper. But that's all you got to do it. There's nothing more to it than that. I wish it were more difficult, you know, but it's not. You know, here's conservative. My goodness, old Jimmy Penna over there in retirement services. Look at this sucker right here. We got pale blue chips up 56% in the last year. Look at that spark chart. My goodness gracious. Up over the last three months and up over the last month. Are you kidding me? And this doesn't even factor in dividends. You know, and so as this market's kind of broken sideways in some rangy sideways volatile activity over the last month, this thing's just plowed right through it, you know, just plowed right through it. And so if you're looking for a way to stay long this market, you know, because, hey, this volatility may take some time to work itself out. You know, you never know. Uh, this would be a good option just under those circumstances for anybody, you know. But if you're really conservative to the core, hard to pick a better system than this one. It's really dynamite. And if I come up here. Again, we could look at the trading system details. We can paper trade it or even trade it with RoboTrader. Okay, let's look at the details here briefly. So here again, uh, beautiful run up off the lows, but good results over, over all the different metrics. And if we look at the stocks, this might be the most interesting thing for folks at this stage. You know, here's one that's still long, has been long throughout. Uh, you got positive ROI on all the different positions in here. Uh, so we got Home Depot, Logitech, Metafast, Price, uh, T. Rowe. You got Progressive, Sherwin Williams, United Health. I mean, yeah, those are blue chippers, to be sure. And uh, you know, we picked up many of these stocks, of course, not only last year but even the year before with Progressive. Isn't that something? You know, and in many cases, collecting a pretty good yield along the way. Well, considering where yields are these days, right? <laughs> You know, so it's it's a great little system. Now, if I come and close this out, we can paper trade it. Let me show you how easy this is. And it'll detail, you know, what stocks to buy, how many shares, you know, roughly what price, what your stop's going to be, you know, everything. So let me go ahead and click paper trade in portfolios because everybody can do this. If you're lucky to have RoboTrader, you know, that kicks it up a notch. Let's click portfolios and we'll start with either empty or we can start with the mature trading system the way it is. And so that's a choice you're going to have to make. I tend to really go with follow the current mature trading system because it's worked out some of the kinks, but there's advantages to both. And I would consider starting with an empty portfolio if you're going to be starting on a fresh signal. So if you're somebody who's going to wait you know, and launch this, give it the best chance to get off the ground as possible. I might wait for a green light, you know, or something uh, in terms of, uh, or the next kicker green in this case, in terms of getting off the ground running uh, as smoothly as possible. So, but ultimately you'll have to make that choice, okay? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by following this one. And so when I do, if I open the portfolio now, I can watch this thing go for a little while, you know, and see how it's clicking along. Like, for example, it took me right into portfolios, right? Here's the same stocks. I can see that today they're up a percent and a half. Not too shabby, you know, not too shabby indeed. And we're at 52.9%. And I can just come in here every day and just take a peek. And when I feel comfortable, you know, I can then deploy that uh, on my own. 
And so there are different ways to do that. You know, Portfolio Manager can give you all the alerts on what stocks to buy. Uh, you can get all that information uh, either here by logging into VectorVest 7. Uh, you can see, you know, at least what the initial cost per share was, how many shares we have, you know, things of that nature. Uh, also, up here under Tools, I can go to Application Settings and I can go to Alerts. And in here, I could put in an email address. Okay, this is a dummy email address here, but I can get portfolio orders. Okay, or if I'm lucky enough to have RoboTrader, I can just do the RoboTrader orders. You know, you need to buy this stock because it's time to buy it. You know, it's going to give you all of the, and you know, you can you can paper trade that if, if you want to. Uh, also, you can just begin to use real dollars. You know, at the end of the day, that's where the money, that's where the money's made, right? Uh, so anyway. No matter who you are, this is how easy it is to get rolling. I don't have to get into Unisearch and run 300 searches, look at a bunch of stocks, you know, go to the stock viewer, try to figure out which ones of those I want to look at by buying the charts. It's all thought out. And you, as you can see, it's been working like a champ, you know, all year, even right now. Okay, so a great, you know, how hard was that to find? All right, Groovy. Now. I'm delighted to announce we have a brand new gadget that can go right into your home page that'll tell you what the top systems are right now at quick glance, which is going to make everything so incredibly easy in terms of picking the right trading system to get rolling in the stock market. So I'm going to go right up here to the top of the home page. There's a little wrench up there. When I click it, you know, this is where to find it. I'm going to scroll over to the right. And I'm going to click on top five trading systems. So it's only going to detail the top five. But all I got to do from here is click on view all. And that will pop us up where many people start. Again, is right here with the one year. You simply come in here, pick a system by category that suits you best or multiple systems. If that's going to fit your, your case the best. And so here's one again with conservative. Look at this guy right here. It's up 41% on the year, 12.4% over the last three months, and 6.2 over the last month, in spite of the market actually being lower over that period of time. Isn't that something? Look at the spark chart, smooth and steady, and still pulling all the way even to just right now. You know, and so then you can come up here, look at the details. Hey, that one, you know, sparks my interest. What's going on with this one? And as we take a peek, boy, look at that. Smooth and steady. Obviously, COVID, you know, hit this system a little bit. But what system didn't it hit? You know, well, the ones that went short. You know, we've got those two. But those are going to be more the aggressive and speculative uh, types of systems. Okay. So, again, it comes down to who you are. You know, if we look at the stocks that are in here, boy, there's Ameriprise, Archer Daniels. Uh, ABG, oh, great stocks, man, you know, and typically you're going to get a good yield on many of those stocks. And so those aren't even factored into the performance metrics. Okay. Uh, now to deploy it, couldn't be any easier. You just click on paper trade and portfolios and you can either start fresh. Maybe you're on a new signal and you want to start with best stock selections right now that money can buy. You'd start that way. Or if you're like me and you want to start with a mature trading system, you know, that's kind of worked out all the kinks, follow it as it is. And so I'll click on open portfolio now, and there she blows. You can see it's up 2.3% today, 122% since inception. And here again, as we look at all of the stocks that are in here, all winners, every single one. But many of the stocks we've held for quite some time, you can see 519s. And everything in between, right? Two seven of eighteen. We've had Verizon in there for more than a couple of years. Isn't that something? You know, and so we're collecting those dividends all along the way. And again, that's not factored into the result. So what could be any easier than that? Here's the stocks to own. You know, you want to what this tells you, quick glance, we want to try to keep our cost basis in line. You know, and sometimes that means we're going to have to catch up when we make a newer purchase because the other stocks in our portfolio have gone up so much. 
So if you're starting fresh, you know, as you can see, you want to keep your initial investment the same. So $100,000, you know, $10,000 per position kind of a deal. And that's how easy it is to pick the very best trading systems in VectorVest. There's really nothing more to it than that. Couldn't be any easier and yet eliminates all of that frustration. So we've got a saying around here at VectorVest now, we do the work, you reap the profits. We'll see you right back here next week at VectorVest University. See you then. Yeah.